So guys, as we enter into a new week of trading, it becomes very crucial to understand Bitcoin's important levels of support and resistance and what to look out for this week in price action on Bitcoin. And this video will give you a clear outlook about what to expect on Bitcoin. So make sure that you don't miss any part of this video and watch it till the end. So guys, welcome back to Hybrid Wheels and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then make sure first smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell icon so that you can be notified about our next updates on the channel. Now, jumping onto the charts, this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame and I have been talking about this setup for quite some time now. I am looking for a move towards the downside and a target of around $22,400. And if you can see in this chart as well, I am looking at this structure of a triple combo wave, which is your W X Y X Z structure towards the downside. We got rejected in this X wave up towards the upside at around $28,000. And now we are seeing this move towards the downside, but there are a few more things that you need to keep in mind while trading Bitcoin or while planning a short from this region onwards. The first most important thing that you have to understand in this chart is that on the weekly time frame, we are still holding above a key zone of support, which is your 200 EMA on the weekly time frame. Currently at $25,675, we have seen three weeks of this support being held very strongly above the $25,600 zone. And if we continue to do so, then I'm definitely looking for another move towards the upside and our first zone of resistance on the weekly chart is going to come somewhere around $26,800. But apart from that, if you just take a look on the weekly time frame, then you can see that this could be your ABC correction towards the downside in which this wave towards the downside from $31,800 all the way to around $25,000 was your A wave correction. And then this B wave was your retrace towards the upside, which we saw previous week around $28,000. And now we are looking for another move towards the downside, which is your C wave towards the downside and our target for that wave is going to come between these zones of Fibonacci which is 0.886 and 0.786 which is coming at 22,400 again and 23,000 dollars. So I am looking for this move towards downside but on the shorter time frame you have to consider this chart right here Again, this is on the daily time frame and you can see that these trend lines that I've marked from the $31,800 and the $30,400 resistance, one I have used from the wicks and the other has been used from candle closes. So these resistances are currently coming somewhere around $28,900 and $29,300, but I'm not looking for a quick move right towards this resistance. Instead, what I'm looking is a move towards the upside and at least test the 0.618 Fibonacci level for a Fibonacci taken from this high to this low, which is coming at around $26,500. And above that, we have another zone of confluence, which is at $27,100, which will also be a bearish tree test of the 200 EMA on the daily time frame. So if that happens, then you can easily see that a move towards the downside and then a retrace back towards the golden pocket, which is your 0.3 to Fibonacci level 27,000 and then a move towards the downside could be very imminent if we break this low at $25,450 taking us all the way down to the 1.618 Fibonacci target which is $23,700, $23,800 mark. So this move towards the upside is most likely in the current scenario and today is Monday so we are going to form our Monday range as well which is going to give us a weekly bias about what to expect this coming week as well and I believe that we should see a move towards the upside and test $26,400 or $27,100 very soon this week before we choose a trend direction to the downside. And if we are looking for a bullish case scenario for Bitcoin, then I would want Bitcoin to at least break above the golden pocket, which is at $27,100. And then we could expect if this zone is converted into support, which will also be giving us a confluence that the 200 EMA on the daily time frame has been converted into support. Then we can look for our next price target, which would be again, first target is going to be $28,100. And the next target is going to be this trend line, which is going to be a very strong zone of resistance, as you can see right here. And we have seen just two hits to this resistance. So I'm really looking for another hit before we go back further down. I'm definitely not looking for a break of this resistance just yet, because it is going to be just your third hit to the high and most likely what we are going to do even in the most bullish case scenario is get rejected from this resistance at $28,800 or $29,300 come back down a bit 
and retest the 200 EMA on the daily time frame which would be somewhere around $27,000, $27,500 zone and then we could see a breakout and then a move towards the upside but that is a story for another day and that is a story for a very bullish case scenario on Bitcoin but right now things are looking like we are going to see some retrace towards the upside only to come back down. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin on the early time frame and as you can see again we are forming some sort of a parallel ascending channel on the early time frame we are trading towards the upside and right now we are very close to the support which is your psychological high as well for this week we have $25,900 and psychological low is going to be at $25,800 so the range is again contracted which means there will be insane volatility this week itself and your resistance from this ascending parallel channel is coming somewhere around $26,000 $200 which will also be your 200 EMA on the early time frame. So we have to be very careful about how the price reacts at the 200 EMA on the early time frame. Now if we break below this trend line of support then my price target is going to be somewhere around this zone which is at $25,640. I would be looking for a short from this region if we break below the psychological high and we will be adding more confluences if we break the psychological low as well. So you can plan a short somewhere around here and again add to it if we break the psychological low as well and then take profit somewhere around here. I am definitely not looking for Bitcoin to drop below $25,640 in the immediate shorter term. I am looking for a move up before we go further down and take out this low at $25,300. Now, if we just shift to the 15 minute time frame as well, we can see that we are trading in some sort of a symmetrical triangle with volume constantly decreasing. So this would mean that we are seeing some sort of an apex forming around here in this zone and which we have already done and we have broken down from it. But this could be a fake out until and unless we see volume above this notable zone of volume, which was somewhere around this region when the price was trading just above the support for this symmetrical triangle and if we can get more selling volume than this volume right there then this would be a very good confirmation of a move towards the downside and again i would be targeting this zone which is $25,640 and if you just measure the price target of this breakdown it is definitely going to come somewhere around that region itself so right there we are getting our price target from this symmetrical triangle breakdown and if we break towards the upside then my price target is going to be somewhere around $26,100 and $26,300 which is also a confluence based on the resistance that we are going to get from the 200 EMA on the early time frame. Now moving on to Nasdaq if you just see these two lines this green line as well as this green line we have been trading in this zone for quite some time now we went down up down up and now we have broken above it we are confirming support above it. If we can hold this zone of support around $15,450, then I'm looking for another move towards the upside for NASDAQ around $15,800. And if we break that, then we are definitely going to touch $16,180 or very close to $16,200, which would actually take out this high on the four hour time frame. And that would be the first time that Nasdaq goes above $16,000 ever since 17th of January in 2022. So more than one and a half years have gone and Nasdaq has not arrived at $16,000. So if we can hold this region at $15,450 and then we can break $15,800, then it is very likely in my opinion that we are going to see $16,000 Nasdaq very soon. Now for the next chart in this video we have USDT dominance which is again coming at a very crucial zone of resistance and remember when USDT dominance goes up crypto and Bitcoin goes down and when USDT dominance goes down it means people are buying into crypto and getting rid of USDT which means that Bitcoin and crypto goes up. So right now you can see on the daily time frame again we have gotten rejected from this region several times and right now we are again doing the same thing and one more important factor that you need to note in this case is that we are forming a bearish divergence on the daily time frame with higher highs in price action and lower highs in RSI. So that is also giving me a confidence that we should see a pump before we see a dump on Bitcoin or in other words a dump on USDT dominance before we see a pump on USDT dominance. So that's all guys from this video and if you enjoyed watching it then make sure you drop a like and also comment down below what you think about these projections that I just made. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I put up another update. That's all guys. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy trading. Bye-bye.